In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HI plus KOH, hydroiodic acid plus potassium hydroxide. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. This equation, it's already balanced, so that step is done. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So it's helpful to memorize this table of common strong acids and bases. We see we have an acid here, it has the H in front, and then we have a metal bonded to a hydroxide, that's a base. On our list, HI, right here, hydroiodic acid, that's a strong acid. That means it's also a strong electrolyte. It's going to dissociate into its ions when it dissolves in water. Potassium hydroxide, strong base. Again, that's going to be a strong electrolyte, aqueous, dissolve in water. Compounds with group 1 elements like potassium, they are usually soluble, and then water is a liquid. So we have our states. Next, we need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So hydrogen group 1, 1 plus, the iodide ion, 1 minus. So we have H plus, and I won't write aqueous now. I'll write that at the end. And then iodide, I minus. Potassium group 1, 1 plus, and this whole hydroxide ion, 1 minus. So we have K plus, plus that hydroxide ion, OH minus. Those are the reactants. For the products, we have K plus, that potassium ion, plus the iodide ion. And then for water, that's a liquid. So we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. And this is the complete or total ionic equation for HI plus KOH. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of this complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really that interested in them. I see here in the reactants, the iodide ion, and here in the products. So I'm just going to cross that out. I can see the potassium ion as well in the reactants and products. Let's cross it out. And what's left is the net ionic equation for HI plus KOH. I'll clean this up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the net ionic equation for hydroiodic acid plus potassium hydroxide. You can see the charges. We have a plus and a minus. They balance out, give us a neutral compound. You can also see masses conserved. We have two hydrogen atoms here, two over here, one oxygen, one oxygen. So mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.